Desert Lake, the story of Katie Thander, Lake Eyre, written by Pamela Freeman and illustrated by Liz and Ellie. Under the vast blue desert sky, the dry bed of Katie Thander, Lake Eyre, stretches to the horizon, blinding white with the salt of an ancient sea. The lake looks dead, but it's not. Beneath the salt crust, frog and fish eggs are buried, waiting. Frogs are safe in deep burrows, their heart beats so slow no one would know they are alive. But far up north, clouds are gathering, thunderheads and rain clouds. Rain falls. Rivers fill and break their banks, and water swirls and roars down the empty riverbeds towards the lake. Basking in a billabong, a surprised fish is swept up in the flood and surges down the channel, tumbling and leaping as the wave carries it out onto the dry salt lake. The water touches a buried frog. It wakes, blinking sleepy golden eyes at the newly wet world. Nearby, the frog's eggs, laid years ago for this very moment, float to the top of the new lake and hatch. Tadpoles wriggle away as fast as they can before the hungry gobies snap them up. Far, far away, pelicans lift into the sky, hundreds of them, heading for the lake to nest. Their huge wings feed them across the great red desert to the one spot where their babies will be safe from dingoes and foxes, the new islands in the middle of the lake. The skies above the lake are alive with birds. Shrieking gulls bring fish and insects to feed their babies, who are in woven grass nests squawking for food. Two pink-eared ducks whistle to their ducklings to follow close, safe from the wedge-tailed eagle circling high above. As the desert flames red and gold with sunset, tiny hopping mice emerge from their burrows on the lake shore, while the dragon lizards crawl wearily under their stones, safe from the cold night air. Day after day, flocks of pelicans patrol the lake, but the lake is shrinking. Slowly, the harsh desert sun sucks the lake dry. The gusty winds steal tiny drops from the lake and carry them to become rain somewhere else. Each day, the waters inch back a little further from the shore. The frog that first woke, blinking, as the water touched her, lays her eggs and then burrows into the cool, deep earth, closing her great golden eyes. The shield shrimps bury their tough eggs safely in the soft mud of the lake floor. The pelican chicks are fully fledged, strong and eager to take to the uplands of the air, to ride the high winds to the great blue ocean. One day, they will come back to raise their own chicks here. Below them, other birds leave too. Avocets and gulls, ducks and swans. The desert air is quiet. The lake that thrummed with life is still. But some stay to keep watch over the lake. Strong sun has baked the salt on the lake bed into a crusty roof over the eggs and animals hiding safe below. Until the next time, the rain falls.